Hello everyone. In this video, let's see how the systematic investment plan also called SIP is cal uh, return is calculated and this I have taken for 15 years with a 5% increase in investment year on year. To start with we have year that is 1 to 15 and then you have the monthly investment of 5000 and again you can make the changes as per your requirement so I have taken 5000 but if you want to make the changes as a 10,000 you just need to update 10,000 and press enter the entire table is uh, updated so likewise from uh, next year if you see you have an incremental of 5% but however if you want to make the changes uh, increment like you want to invest as 10% so just make it as 10% year and then press enter and just copy paste this entire uh, information of uh, the formula and paste it here and again the entire table will be updated automatically then you have rate of return uh, rate of return is just my assumption I just made some assumptions but uh, again uh, you can decide and you can update uh, based on your assumptions because we don't know we cannot predict like next 15 years what will be the return rate of return so you can make your own uh, 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 assumptions and then update this uh, rate of return for each year then you have the grand total so grand total uh, the first is the monthly investment so monthly investment is sum of all the money what we have captured across the uh, uh, years and then uh, you have interest earn again interest earn the calculation will look into details but you also have the details of interest earn uh, the total inter interest earn for the 15 years and then you have the closing balance uh, this is what you will have for end of 15 years if you start investing uh, 10,000 per month with an incremental of 10% you will have end of the uh, end of 15 years you have 82 lakhs 91,255 now to start with this table uh, you have year so year I just calculate I just updated as one for the first 12 months uh, it will be one and then after 12 months uh, it will be two until next 12 months and then it will be three and then you have month since we have for 15 years 15 years multiplied by 12 is 120 sorry it's 180 so you have 180 rows here then you have monthly investment monthly investment in this example we have taken as 10,000 so all I did was just I used a HLOOKUP formula HLOOKUP and then uh, lookup value will be uh, the year comma and then I go to this table year and then I take uh, until monthly return I select until uh, uh, 15 years then I lock the cell by pressing F4 from the keyboard and then 2 comma zero press enter and this just action this formula so you have the investment details month on month then we have the opening balance uh, opening balance in the first month it will be obviously zero from the next from the next month the opening balance will be uh, let me press f2 the opening balance will be just the closing balance of the previous month uh, you will get the opening balance of the current month likewise if I go to the next row if press F2 again I have taken the closing balance of previous month then you have the monthly interest rate so monthly invest interest rate first year obviously will not have this uh, interest rate cal interest calculated so from next month uh, from the second month you have the interest calculated so the monthly interest rate is again I have taken from this uh, data or the table so again the H lookup formula H lookup and the lookup value will be my year and then I need to go to this table and I take from year to rate of return uh, select the entire table and lock this by pressing F4 and then 3 uh, 0 press enter so I get the rate of return but however this rate of return is an annual rate of return so you have this the, whatever we have here in row number 8 this is an annual rate of return but now we want monthly return for this uh, for entire whatever the hedge look I have taken I divide by 12 to get the monthly return monthly rate of return so this is the monthly rate of return so just action the formula by clicking on this square box what we have at the bottom so now this is updated 
now interest earn interest earn is very simple again formula uh, let me press f2 so whatever the closing balance you have multiplied by monthly interest rate you will get the interest earn so similarly if i go to the next row i will press f2 again the closing balance what we have multiplied by monthly interest rate now then last one is the closing balance for closing balance uh, what i take is uh, monthly investment and then you have the opening balance and then the interest earned. In this case, for the first month, you don't have anything as an opening balance. So you have only the monthly investment of 10,000. There is no interest earned. So for the next year, if you go, it will be like a monthly investment of 10,000 and opening investment of 10,000. And whatever the interest earned end of the month, that will be uh, your closing balance. Again, for the next month, if you see, again, the monthly investment will remain same across the month across the year however the opening balance since we are taking the previous month closing balance it will keep changing and also the interest earned will be keep changing because the interest earned will be based on the opening balance or the previous month closing balance so this is how it is uh, calculated the closing balance so and uh, you can see the targets for example uh, now you want to have like uh, two crores by end of uh, 15 years we just need to make the changes accordingly into the table for example i will make it as 15000 year and uh, press center you can see you will have 1 lakh 24000 uh, sorry 1 crore 24 lakhs 36822 by end of 15 years